make sure. All right, now we are live. Hi, guys. I am crossing up, getting my alarms already. Sorry, <laughs> we are managing some trades here. Um, hi, I am Awakened Soul, and this is Abe. Hello, Where hello. We and we are going to be reviewing the market. We're going to go through the go through the market. Who's here? Oh, at to stream. There we go. And we have a special guest, Warner. Hi, Warner. Thank hello, you for hello. joining us. Thank you. Um. So yeah, this is our regular routine going through the market on a Tuesday, seeing where the markets are headed. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by just focusing. I'm more of a, uh, uh, I'm a day trader. I'm focused more on the one minute, two minute time frame. And right now I'm looking at this wedge that we could be breaking to the upside. Um, and that's what I was waiting for. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. I was just in a trade right now. And I just have to manage it really quick. As this trend line is breaking to the upside. I just want to make sure I have my proper stop loss. Risk management so important when you're taking trades. Uh, but let's see where Bitcoin's going next more than anything, right? I think that's the most important thing. So... As you can see, I have this three minute wedge and if I'm going to actually erase everything, should I erase everything? No, I have another chart here. So um, I use four hours as trend lines and my four hours are critical for me. So within this time frame and the four hour, we have a one touch, two touch here being my four hour trend line. Right. So we are right on it. And of course, if we break this, what I would call major resistance, we'll continue to the upside. And that would give you a one touch, two touch target for me. And we would be headed to 27.8 for now. And that's as far as my view goes. Um, and that's where I believe, you know, liquidity is about to go to. If we break that major resistance time frame and zone. But it's so interesting, this move. What do you think about this move? I think it's uh, amazing how we're literally back in this range. <laughs> we have, uh, this is my contraction phase. Um, I am in the eight hour right now. So let me just... Well, you and I talked about this um, with uh, me, you, Raised by Wolves, uh, Bird Dog, Crypto Ronin, and Duke Doobie. And I shared, a, basically, I drew a pattern that was kind of like a V-shaped recovery. And I'll share that in a moment on my charts. And uh, I'm loving it because it's playing out just like uh, we spoke about. I think we'd go down before we went up to, you know, 33K, possibly 30K again. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, this is, this is a beautiful recovery. I think this is amazing. I mean, it's amazing that we're able to, to see the, the flow of the charts more than anything. Right. I think it's, um, over time you, we start understanding. Yeah. The perception, we understanding the mechanics of, of the charts and we understand, you know, you start to see what are the possibilities more than anything. And, you know, that's when you win, when you come into this game and realize that, okay, you have that for me, that's technical analysis, right? Coming into this game and, and seeing what the charts are telling you and just setting a play up. And I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful and being able to play it and, gain from it more than anything gain from it but um yeah so this is my chart right now and i am in a long i was looking at the four hours give me one second i'm going to delete my this is my techno party um so what i'm looking at for now is on my four hours 
is the cloud, right? Now I'm using the cloud and I just have found such great support resistance within the cloud. But uh, just as the Ichimoku Ichi, say, Ichimoku you know, cloud. as long as we hold support above the cloud. No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is called the dragon. This is what Dom uses. This okay. is um, his setup. It's the PVA candles and the dragon. This one, PVA candle. That's what we're all using in the telegram, kind of. You know, we're all trying to be on the same page, kind of understand hmm. each other's TA, especially when, um, you know, we're day trading and it helps everyone kind of be in the same page when he's like, oh, you know, there's a blue vector, or there's an imbalance here, or there's an imbalance there. It just helps. The The only thing that I have changed, he uses different uh, EMAs. I'm sticking to mine because I just like mine. I use the 1226 EMA and the 100. Um, I don't know who told me about the 100, someone in my telegram, but um, I think the 100 is amazing. And I've been seeing a lot of confluence with the 100. And I am using the 200 and 800. That's what he uses too. So I'm sticking with those EMAs. And he uses different EMAs in his. Oh. But um, with this cloud, this is the dragon. And this is used like um, it's uh, based on the 50 EMA. And it huh. is similar to so, so the line in between the, the dragon is the 50 EMA. And it's used as major support or resistance. So as uh, day traders, we're focused only on the four hours, like for bigger, oh, well, we're focused on everything. But uh, like for a trade right now, now that I'm looking at right now, we're looking at the party where it is up above or below holding support ho or resistance. Um, and then, you know, coming into the one hour understanding this big move to the upside is, is beautiful but and of course the the cloud price action is above so it's just giving us that confluence for price action to continue to the upside and once it holds the four hour you could go to the eight hour like in the eight hour you could see breaking through it the 22 hour um we're under it but it's okay so this is the conf kind of the confluence that we want to see, right? In the daily, right? It's still under it, so it hasn't went through it yet. So it's still technically bearish on the daily, but it's okay because we're just, you know, we're just scalping here. Well, I am. <laughs> I'm just scalping here. I'm just looking for the next play. But yeah, so this is the dragon that he uses. And um, with that being said, as um, so, I'm just focused on the four hour time frame, right? And I just want to know where's my ranges within the four hour, and I want to know where's my next target because a four hour trade, like I've said before, four hour trades could take approximately a week to play out. So, it's important to understand that. And it's beautiful to hold long term trades, a lot of people um, enjoy that, and it's great. It's not for me, I mean, it is for me but not at this moment in time as I'm trying to do a lot of things. Um, so one touch, two touch, uh, let's go target here. What did I say? We said 27.9 is my target right now. If we break this, of course, we could definitely fall right back down. That could definitely be a possibility too. And if we fall back down, that's why I have my range, right? This is my range. And only this is my concern because I am aware. I mean, this is our contraction phase here. Market structure, understand market structure. So if you throw a point of control from the top right to the bottom, you're able to see that price action is above point of control. And our point of control for me is being used as also a support. So it's also give me, giving me that confluence that I need of the strength, right? So we have the, the price action above the cloud. We have price action above our PLC. So it's telling 
So, okay, price action is holding support. So sometimes, okay, then I go to my one hour. One hour tells me a lot in regards to market structure. So in one hour, I want to know my highs and lows. And in my one hour, I'm going to use my higher high, lower low indicator. I like to use the 15 settings. You just look at your one hour. What is it saying? What is it telling you? For me, right, it's, it's officially marked a lower high. So technically. Technically, I would work towards a higher low, right? But in this situation, due to this huge pump and due to the fact that we could cross this major resistance trend line um, and that we're holding some support. Mm, 28. Hold on, sorry. Um, 28. We have 28 showing up here. So yeah, I think 27, 8, 28 would be a great target for this up move to the upside. I did enter my long based on that a wedge that we had broken right when the stream came on, my alarms went off. And just a reminder, set your alarms is so important. So I had this little bull flag, you could call it, right? And it broke. And it could definitely, I mean, just crash down. And it's fine if it does that too. I will have a stop loss, really tight stop loss, right? No more than the previous um, higher low. And the way I like to find them is using my pivot uh, highs and lows. Great indicator too, gives you exact price. So this indicator will tell you where the highs and the lows are. And this is what helps me to set my stop losses or to focus on certain levels for me to take those trades. So if I'm gonna enter long here, you know, with the trend line break, there's always a possibility of coming back and retesting. And if we retest, it's wonderful. But now if we retest and come back inside this wedge, what is, no, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Um, can you take over really quick, Abe, and you can show your screen? Uh, I don't mind taking over. Um, yeah, I'm here to bring the juice. All right. Um, okay, you're here. Awesome. So, uh, you guys, I'm not sure if uh, any of you are aware of all the narratives that we are witnessing going on with... Uh, the markets cryptocurrency wise um specifically centered around yesterday's cz binance and you know the the lawsuit from the sec and everybody thinks that the sell-off currently has everything to do with this and the sec bullying crypto companies like coinbase as well today um you know, some leading crypto exchanges all across the world. And a lot of people have got this in their head and stuck in their head that this sell off yesterday has got a lot to do with this. And I'm here to share a deeper truth. And I think it's got a lot to do with um, Normandy landings uh, today, um, 1944, um, when we invaded Normandy, France, um, one of the bloodiest, deadliest days for war and casualty in, well, World War II. This is kind of what kicked off World War II. And we're seeing this leading into the markets yesterday, this sell-off and sell-side pressure. And now we get these narratives, this FUD, this fear, uncertainty, and doubt causing people to panic sell or to not take advantage of the lows in the market. So one thing I've talked about recently is uh, 27,200 support or resistance level that was going to be held or get treated as resistance one to two. And that's what happened coming out of a, a large wick theory and a bull trap that we teach about leading right into another, you know, open order ranges that Awaken So and I talk about, um, you know, another long wick theory showing price action go all the way right back up. So I'd like to see if we can attempt to break this $27,200 level in the near distant future and start treating it as support again. Because if you remember, when we do, 
Well, we tend to see upside. So this is kind of like my line in the sand, something I've been sharing for quite some time. I was sharing also um, earlier how we talked about in, you know, a few episodes ago of, uh, you know, collaborations together. Um, I talked about this possible V-shaped recovery and how we could go down before seeing continuation like this to the upside. Um, this is either going to end up as rejection and we're going to fall back into a new low. But only time will tell. This is still a descending wedge with a 68% chance of a breakout to the upside. So um, are you back with us, Awaken? Yes, and I wanted to welcome Dom. Thank you oh. for stopping by. It's, Dom. Yeah, Dom's here. Hello, so, hello. Um, so yeah, no, continue. We're here. We're hearing you out. Um, and then we'll go around and... Thanks, man. Oh, could I make a coffee? Yeah. Awesome. Morning. Go Morning. ahead. Oh, awesome. can you hear me? Yeah, yes, we, we can, can hear, hear you. you. How are can you? you? Oh, so, yeah, I'm all right. I'm not doing too, not too bad. Uh, should I turn the mic off or you want me to leave it on? Um, no. Abe, now you, you were sharing. Um, I mean, you could turn it off for now. I, I think Abe will share. I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm going to turn it off. I'll probably distract the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, I was just sharing uh, some some TA real quick and uh, talking about some things we talked about in a, a past collaboration. Uh, and um, that was this chart right here, um, Raised by Wolves, uh, Bird Dog, Crypto, Ronin, Duke, Doobie, Awakened Soul, and I, we got together. And, I, you know, we were talking about where's the market going to go. And I was throwing this idea out that we might see what I'm thinking is uh, a short squeeze right here. And I, I've been waiting on this. I, I talked about this going back to... Um, you know, Jerusalem Day, the 18th of, uh, I believe it was May. And, um, you know, I've been waiting on this kind of short squeeze idea. And I think this is the time period of where we're about to get it. Coming out of the full moon, and we're seeing bearish energy. We just had the hype around the debt ceiling, you guys. And now the feds have decided to kick the can down the road two more years. Imagine that. Like, why well, have a debt ceiling if we're never going to use it? Like, anyways, I'll behave. Um, so, I mean, I'm just seeing a lot of things building up to why we could see one more leg to the upside short term. But anyways, this pullback that I was seeing was, I'm thinking, tied to Normandy, um, D-Day, um, Doomsday, Operation Neptune. So let's let's start doing this right here um, and decoding what I was seeing. Today is 6-6 six, six when, when this happened. And um, that's the big 66 um, that we get in things like... Um, well, what happened a couple of years ago on the world stage that caused another one of these events in the market? Um, you know, that big powerful 66, that 33 right there. Okay, well, Corona in Latin means crown. So that event targeted the crown chakra, the 33rd degree, the pineal gland. So anyways, um, what I'm seeing right here with this 66 connection is most importantly is we just need to build our empire right now and take advantage of uh, the, the opportunity given to us in the market, that same 66 and 33. Um, but yeah, uh, today being 14 weeks and five days, though, until the end of the Jubilee year, Rosh Hashanah this year, is tying us into not only D-Day, but Wilbert Delbert. Gan, Gan, W.D. Gan, who was a very big market participant, and his birthday is today, and he turns 145 years old if he was still alive. So the 14-week, five-day time period today between now and then, not surprising. Um, today, adding up to 55 in numerology, that ties us into another market participant, the mythology of Satoshi Nakamoto, I totally spelled that wrong. We know we get that same 55. That 181, we get in Satoshi Nakamoto and this gentleman as well, W.D. Gan, gone. He gives us that same 181. Tying us into cryptocurrency today. Um, so I'm not really surprised to see the, the volatile action. Uh, last week when Awakened Soul and I got together on my podcast, I, I talked about how the first week of June I thought could be pretty volatile. And I left it at that. 
So, um, you know, I could go even deeper, but I want to um, leave the floor open and just make one more connection after I do uh, to Operation Neptune, like I was talking about. Um, just again, giving us one more uh, connection to uh, cryptocurrency with uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, this 224 Operation Neptune, D-Day, Doomsday. And we're seeing doom in the market yesterday leading into the day. So I'm going to leave that there and uh, I'll stop sharing in, in case anybody else wants to talk about it and uh, bring something up about that. Uh, so chart -wise. What's, your, what's your target right now? Uh, so what's for your what? Target? Like for a big TC, okay. like in... Yeah, I share. I'll just pull up my Discord, um, and uh, I'll do it that way because this is my target. Um, I shared in my TA and charts idea yesterday, um, and uh -huh. a few other Discords, yours as well. Um, we started with uh, what I thought was an inverse head and shoulders pattern that could break to the upside, but we failed twenty seven thousand two hundred. So I thought that we could be in what was. I was considering after an impulsive one, two, three, four, five wave and an ABC corrective, um, I was looking at a one, two, three, four, five wave down. So I was thinking 26,100, the 1618, the golden ratio of five. And we obviously throughout the day, as I kept sharing that, we started to really achieve that. I'm in the middle of a 12 hour work shift working at, um, you know, helping facilitate a six, four to six million dollar restaurant a year. And um, so I'm doing this the best I can uh, while at work. So we kept just inching down there. We finally dropped past the low of this wick. And I'm like, OK, confirm five wave coming in. So lo and behold, we achieved the, the one six one eight. Um, now that we've fell past that and not quite got to twenty five thousand two hundred. That's kind of been my my, you know, basic recovery of this descending wedge falling wedge if we do not break 25,200 i stay in the 252 in eastern north carolina um crypto equals 25 cryptocurrency equals 52 we're in the rabbit 25 52 year um btc equals 25 it fell to 25k yesterday on doomsday like if we hold 25,200 like we're, we're in the cards to go up from here but if we break 25,200 two five one um you know I, I think we're going possibly down to what i've been saying is maybe twenty two thousand three hundred the two two three in the two two three year because what i what i want to show right here is let me find a cleaner chart um this this twenty one thousand five hundred dollar range uh that's going to be the line in the sand for me um right there around the two three six it's right below it but when I look at that, that's going to be basically as low as I want to go back to around right here, the top of this range, the bottom of this support right here, 21, four, on, 21 so are, are you expecting a, a retrace right now? I'm not. If are we hold 25,200, uh, when you say retrace, are you referring to the okay. upside? No, you, like, or, no, no. Cause you were pointing down. I was wondering. What was your target for the upside, like within the four oh, hours? I thought you was asking to the downside. Um, no, 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 no. Okay. That would be my higher low. Since I was talking about it, this would be my higher low uh, line in the sand. And I, since I uh -huh. already basically explained that, um, going back to when we saw the um, destruction of the Georgia Guidestones, and I was like, wow, sudden destruction out of nowhere. Uh, they just blow up 215 Bitcoin fell to 21,500 that same day. And I'm like, you can't make this up. So ever since then, I've watched that $21,500 range and that would, would still be setting a higher low in structure. So that would be my downside um, target. But my target to the upside, if we hold this, uh, I want to make sure I'm on the right chart that I was looking at. Um, yeah, if we hold this, then I'll go ahead and just be conservative and say what I've been saying for, you know, quite some time, 32,200, right there around 33K. Again, we are in Gemini right now until the end of the month.
giving us that same 33. The 33 we were getting in, you know, the connections earlier to, uh, you know, Corona, Doomsday, Empire, um, what we're seeing. So it's just what I'm seeing, 33K. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, of course. no, absolutely. And that, what time frame was that? I'm sorry that you uh, were. All, always a two hour time frame for me. Um, you know, we move in twos, duality. Um, so I like to, to <clears throat> view my charts on a two hour time frame. Dun, dun, dun. Wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I did take a long, I wasn't sure if it was going to play out because I, I thought we were going to hit major resistance. And we are at nah. major resistance. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> because, because taking place above the four hour cloud, so it closes above that is mm. a continuation on my end. Right. And that's, that's, the, te that's the technicals. That's the so technicals. So you're thinking upside too, Dom. That's well, it. no, it's it's. I drew it out yesterday, which I posted in uh, in the communities, which was that whole move up. So all it is basically in my end is on the one hour, as long as it gets above the cloud, closes above that, boom, it gets above yet yeah, 200, 800. Standard thing would mean reversion that it does because that's the uh, algo. Once it gets above the 800, so we're now talking that we're above the 50 on the four hour, coming back to the cloud. Once it closes above the cloud, continuation. That's that's what it equals. Right. So do y'all agree with my right short now, squeeze theory and... here? Uh, I, I absolutely agree. It's exactly what happened. Even Jordan posted yesterday uh, the three touch on the daily that I shared with um, Awaken Soul. Huh. The chart. I miss that. Uh, he posted it a lot because obviously people would have been scratching their heads because of the um, recent podcast that he did. You know, he was all optimistic on the weekend. Right. Um, and then it kind of just dumped. But yeah, he, we'll put. Yeah, he, sorry, go. He sp sorry, he spoke with me, and uh, I talked to him about possibly collaborating for a doomsday uh, collaboration, yeah. and uh, he forgot about it. So I think this this don't did surprise him. Uh, he seems to be a busy boy because he's not really posting in his community at the moment. Right. Um, but he posted that I think just to kind of uh, give everybody kind of a heads up, not to panic. Correct. And, and we were posting this probably two days ago in regards to the move but we, at Awakened Souls, which was it, when, it, when it went to the, when it was at the uh, four hour on my end, rejection on the four hour cloud meant do not go long. Mm. You, need, you need to short the shit. Obviously, you know, when I play <laughs> the game, um, when I play the game, if I get caught, I add to my margins anyway. So to me, drawdowns don't really bother me. Right. Um, but what, but as long as I understand where the liquidity is, uh, where their positions are to be recovered, then I'm okay. But so yesterday was a little bit different because on the main charts, you couldn't see their liquidity to the upside, uh, but I could see it on Binance. So obviously something happened on Binance uh, where it printed a very big pink candle, but you couldn't see it on Bitstamp, you couldn't see it on Bybit, you couldn't see it in the majority of the exchanges. Hmm. Um, but that's what they just recovered completely, that candle. So right. something happened there. So hence why everyone, this news is coming out with CZ doing, yeah, I don't know, something, that's amazing. So, something weird, who cares? doesn't matter. But <laughs> Yeah, right. That's what but, I was saying. Like, it's so much deeper. Yeah. Than, yeah. But hey, I've got the same target as you, 33K, 32 and a half. It's, uh, what it is on my end is it's been working the weekly imbalance to the downside. Uh, so what I mean by the imbalance is there, there's a bullish order block there. Which has been mm. bouncing off, and it, it did it again. Correct. Uh, the next, the next bearish right. order block is is thirty three k. Correct. Yeah, somewhere in there, it, you know, it, you know how you know what it's going to do. It's going to go out there. It's going to hit its head. It's going to break down. Yeah. And it's going to come back up. It's going to create that lightning bolt kind of pattern. One, you know, one leg up, two leg up, whatever it is. Yeah. Correct. So I'm with you. It's it's There's a short a CME squeeze. CME gap there too, uh, up Absolutely. there on thirty four k. And I spoke oh, about it in one of my last videos. There's so many of them. I, I track all yeah, of them. Yeah. <laughs> I know you do. I, I, I watch your posts. I love it. I love it. It's like I keep saying it's the fucking road to a sale. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> just the golden brick but, road. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like it's fucking right there. <laughs> just <laughs> use it to your advantage. <laughs> That's what I keep doing with it. Right. But look, 
we're going to always going to get these fucking crazy fake outs. And yeah. Fake well, out, shake out. Are, yeah, exactly. It was all right. It was just another move. It was another day. Learning opportunity. Exactly. Exactly. I yeah. learned to hold my short squeeze. Uh, to hold I'm my just, long squeeze. <laughs> I'm just glad I was out here preparing at least a week ahead of time for D Day, Doomsday, uh, for my pioneers, just like, you know, ahead of May, yeah, yeah. May Day, May Day events. And, um, you know, it's just, nice. it was because I was, you know, staying up to date with what I put out last year. You know, I'm still learning yeah. off of what I did last year. I made mistakes. I make mistakes all the time, but I'm still growing. I'm evolving. Elevate, elevate, yeah, elevate. Yeah. Exactly. Um, look, I know the magic numbers are around 28.4, the technicals. Okay. So for continuation strength, and we mm -hmm. start going to those higher levels, is you want to see it closing there. Right. Uh, One hour but on day, my end, any, any time frame, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter what time frame, but on my end anyway, um, in the shorter, like, you catch the moves a lot quicker, you want it closing above the 800 on the daily, which is 27.6, is the line in the sand for me. So that's when I start getting excited. Hmm. Yeah. And so kind of going, okay, I can protect my position and I can add to my margin, uh, add to my position. Yeah, I try to come Almost. up with the best, lowest, for sure range that someone could long or short from and i think for me like it's just been that 27 too like i'm trying it might not be the best it might be 26 6 you know but who knows no, no. um but is yeah good. um maybe good? yeah i think 28 would be my high and mm -hmm. you know on the end of the day just looking at this range we're back at an range. It's hilarious. We've been here how many days? Like forever now. Uh, almost and, 80, um, it's, roughly. It's plus definitely, or minus. you know, chopping. Yeah, it's chopping up some traders. That's for sure. If you don't understand <laughs> this game. But like you guys say, it, it's a important range, I think. And you get to learn a lot from, you know, the expectations or what cryptocurrency does and the volatility that it's played right i mean <laughs> if i measure this we have 82 days that we've just been across and for someone that's spot trading they're out gaining absolutely nothing right they're just Correct. holding and but yeah i think i i don't see 33 <laughs> I'm gonna, i mean i see it Teddy technically Bear. but i guess, right <laughs> but technically I do see it, but I'm more of a level to level, and my four hours is probably the highest. Um, but for now, 20, like Dom says, if it, we close above 28, 300s or so, if we break this trend line, then absolutely, then yeah, game on. Let's, regards, let's so, go to yeah. the moon, guys. But um, yeah. till because this itself, I was looking at it as a huge ripsaw. Right. right and if you're and it's crazy because now that i look at it it looks like uh, we're going to the moon because this is a <laughs> wyckoff pattern in my perspective like a spring. right this is my range here this is my range so this is a wyckoff pattern this is down creating the h right then we rip saw up and down, and then our direction should be up. Correct. Yeah, right? that's basically and, a spring. Um, that's how I look at the market. It would then, yeah, the rip saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. this is my contraction phase. So now that I see that, I definitely see higher targets. But how high, like I said, my, for me, it's, it's all within here if we cross that 26 that 2800 then i'll be expecting maybe you know even 30k but other than that i don't know i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't say 33 yet not me not me but i see i do see technically one day maybe one day in the future i guess yeah i think but, it's um, around I mean, the summer solstice this month around the 21st right as we transition into cancer because it's hard to even because if you think about it this has been here since march 
like we're literally within one range. And I know we get excited over one pump, two pumps, but in the end of the day, it has done nothing since March. Right. I'm super so excited. So for me to think that it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're excited. I am too. I'm no, excited. excited when yesterday. it was going down. You're not. <laughs> I was excited, I was excited too. When it was going the future down, is tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, no. I I can sell the future is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. <laughs> the future is tomorrow. No, Look, it's, it's gonna. Come it's, on, it's, back to Mother Earth. <laughs> <laughs> let's come back to Mother Look, Earth this, here. I know you like to show it, but there's yeah. conditions that need to be met, obviously. Yeah. Right. Is the is the low no, right here really low. confirmed in? You know what I'm saying? Um, um no, it'll know. be confirmed at twenty eight four. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Once we break I got it as twenty eight psychologically, but you know, that yeah. was four hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Zero, um, nothing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So that, that's I do want to say it's basically a higher high. Yeah, What's just that? really quick, uh, Fletcher and Mr. Jensen, thank you for joining. But I can add thank you guys because it says it says uh, device not connected to the audio. So something about you guys have to to be in the screen. Uh, you guys have to, but you guys could stay here. But just want to let you know that I see you guys, but I can't add you because it says that something about you guys are not connected to the audio. That's why I love you guys. Thank you for showing up. Um, well, no, but definitely, quickly... I oh. think there's a lot of excitement with this uh, cute little. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I posted the um, ahead, order no. book. I was just saying, I just posted the order book of all the institutional orders. So oh. they're all gunning, gunning for 28K. 28. So they'll just put in, okay. their, they've put in their big orders at 28K. They're coming for so, this vector know. candle right here, right? They're coming for your vector well, candle, already... this cute little pink one. Yeah. This up, up here. Yeah. The uh, they just recovered one now. They just, they just recovered one now, which was a drawdown. That's why we're back to where we are right now, just sitting there. But we're above the, uh, on my end, we're above the uh, four hour cloud with a green candle. So that's a, that's a strong yeah. sign. No, absolutely. But we also have to remember that there's plenty of times where it has gotten above, yeah. rested above, you know, so we have was, to be careful yeah. and aware of, you know, we have to be careful and aware about it. But definitely, I think this vector candle will be recovered at, um, I mean, it's already crossing the four hour trend line in 28. I think it's, it's the most ideal and the most, mm, I like you know, that. it's, very logical. We have a we have a close yeah. in about forty minutes. Just so oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So once that closes in, that's that that cements that move. Yeah, we're at twenty one. We're at twenty seven thousand one hundred. Uh, that's last uh -huh. week or two weeks ago. Awaken you. You were getting ready to short at that range. Like you, you were you knew that was your range to to take some sure. take some shorts. So at twenty uh, where. At twenty seven one because it was one hundred dollars under my twenty seven thousand two hundred. It was last week we were talking about it or the week before. I'm um, always but, ready to short. I want to short yeah, now. Um, <laughs> but now we're so, now we're retesting that that as resistance uh, yeah. possibly. Well, this is what happened two days ago. It it spiked to the upside because it, it run the equal highs on the one hour. Right. So you have equal yeah. highs a lot higher now on the four uh, on the daily. I think it was. Which are well I above actually, around 28k. I actually have them here. I actually marked them. Uh, <laughs> yes, we yep. have a daily equal high around 28822. Yep. So, so, so yeah, you know when it runs to that, to and it, just let you know when it goes to that and it starts dancing around there, it's gonna it's gonna spike it. Hmm. What it does. Mm -hmm. It's what it does. It's what it's what it's designed to do. It's crazy too. Uh, that twenty eight, that eighty two, twenty eight, eighty two number. It's um, Operation Neptune equals eighty two. Um, when you type out Egyptian sun god, it gives you sixty six. Like Neptune. today. Um, Wasn't that Operation the submarine? Neptune. Huh? Wasn't that the submarine where they were delivering cocaine? Uh, Operation oh, Neptune was sense. Normandy landings, D Day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to mix up with that other. That, that um, was Netflix your episode where that Russian. That was, that was your <laughs> show. No, no. 
There was that yeah. Netflix episode of that Russian guy that had that um they brought that submarine. The Americans brought the submarine to deliver cocaine back to Yeah, America. I forget the name <laughs> of that. Russia. Um but I know what you're talking about. Um <laughs> Yeah, but, well, that was but, it. <laughs> but yeah, Operation Neptune equals eighty two and we're talking about twenty eight thousand. So that's as above, so below, so within, so without. But Egyptian sun god, which is Ra, sun god yep. equals eighty two and twenty eight. But Egyptian sun god equals 66, like we were talking about today's date, 6-6, six, six, when Operation Neptune happened. Are we getting ready to see 28K? You know, it's just, I think it's all in the code right here. Yeah, no, I think people have been are. sitting pretty, they've been sitting pretty too long at 28K with their, um, their right. uh, short positions. Correct. I mean, they're about to, about to get taken out. Yeah. Well, they're going to add to their margin like I like to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, um, I, pay, I yourself. pay yourself. Yes, pay yourself. Pay yourself. Yeah, a, as old mate says. I've got a chart I've shared for months, weeks, several weeks and months now. Um, and you can go back. Uh, I don't remember what video it was, but uh, I was taking profits. That was my first de risk. I got. I was at work getting notifications yeah. of limit orders hitting that sold because my altcoins hit a certain range and Bitcoin hit 28K. And, uh, yeah. you know, that was my first de-risking range. My second is 32,233K, and then I've got some higher. But, but yeah. Yeah, see, I love that number. It's where it yeah. wants to go. Yeah. It's because it's, what it, all it's doing is it's just zigzagging. And if we're following, if you're following <laughs> the liquidity like I am regarding these vector candles, that's the next vector candle on the weekly. It, it's crazy y'all say that because uh, I don't really remember what I said in my D-Day video last night, but uh, Awaken Soul said chopping uh, chopping around and um, <laughs> I laughed yeah. then and you said uh, zigzagging and I said something about it. It's like if you go to a restaurant and you want to order a side of Bitcoin chop suey uh, um, <laughs> ping pong like falling knife pattern. I don't remember what I said, but <laughs> um, right. y'all are cracking me up right now. That's what we were doing yesterday, though, um, when I was uh, in that video. Yeah, and as a pattern trader, I mean, we can't deny the falling wedge, right? Falling wedges yeah. break I love the upside. 68% and... chance upside. Like, math. Ugh. Ah, 68% of it. <laughs> but it's guaranteed I, I 68% have... of time all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I do want to make this observation here, just like we had this M pattern. So Correct. we could definitely have like this beautiful M pattern before we break up to the upside. You know, right. and this would give us a mirror image here and this would be oh, our yeah. contraction this beautiful contraction, contraction face yeah that i'm talking about with the rip saw that we had just that we have officially created in the zone so i okay i do see that i'm starting the lps and that. sos so that a phase if, e. i mean yeah. we could we could be looking Actually, let me measure this. That would be good if we measured how much time from this range to this range. That thir 13 days. So from this low, another 13 days would give us 13 and 13. Wow, that's 13 right there. Days is a magical number, right? Sorry, 13 days. We're talking about June. That's June 10th. <laughs> June 10th. <laughs> you know, that's going to be a scripted day. I'll behave. I'll shut up. Yeah, it's going to be an evil week next week. Yeah. Why you say that? What's next week to you? Yeah. Well, you've got every single you've got every single major news announcement coming up over the next three days from the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Well, oh yeah, the 14th. Uh, that's leading into Father's Day, but the 14th is the next FOMC meeting. So I, I yeah, see what but, you're saying. Yeah. But you've got not just that, but you've got everything else right, around it. Right. Yeah. There's so many it's red folders. It's not once. funny. Yeah, it's yeah. all pre-baked in, going to come out at once, like an algorithm at a certain time. And oh, it's huge. It. Yeah, yeah. But that, that 15, 14, 15 uh, day from the announcements is huge. Hmm. Like, even people are already saying, you know, like, we're a neck brace. I said in one of my videos recently uh, that I think the Fed's going to pause, at least here in America. You know, after after kicking the can down well, the road, I wouldn't be surprised if they <clears> pause <throat> right here uh, it, on the 14th. I'll tell you what, interesting thing yesterday uh, that we had, uh, they didn't pause our rates, they upped them. Uh, two days ago. What do you mean? Uh, so the Australian uh, RBA rates, so same as your uh, Fed, okay. which is our RBA, they raised our rates. They raised them again. How much? Uh, 25. 
25 basis points. Yep. That's not so bad. Now, if we're talking 50, 75 a whole basis points, we're, we're looking at downside. Right you know, 25, 25, we can we can work with, you know, or, but I don't know. So, so, so maybe My we do. Went up. I'm not happy. I, I know, I, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, but it would have been a lot worse if it was 50 or 75. You see what I'm saying? Like uh, that's, I'd be in we, a couple of know that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't even be on this anymore because I wouldn't be able to afford the internet. <laughs> Let us pray. <laughs> I, I, I'd have to do this from the public, it's, public it's library. Serious. It's serious, though. The economy we're heading into, and people have no idea what is coming. They're still TikToking and WAP video and watching their sporting events and buying their Starbucks and uh, living like C19. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Warning. I need to get a copy. Uh, I, I know, right? Cold pressure. <laughs> I need a copy. No, definitely. You but no, uh, this is going to be magical, <laughs> <laughs> right? We're always up. Just getting the measure. Just imagine if it pops. This, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've been imagining for like this is March. <laughs> Look, think about this. Like 16th, <laughs> it just goes boom, 10% up. Bang. Ooh, love it. It can do it. It could. And then awaken, so I'll be like, oh, fuck. I can absolutely, just like it did right here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> She's gonna right, be shortened it. at that Please. point. You know I'm gonna. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Gonna yeah. Be yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. Range. She, she's gonna be up there short and take right. money. Exactly. Oh wait, can I teach you how to add to your margin? I teach you how to add to your margin. My margin. If it goes, no need, no need. If it goes against the trade, I don't go. I don't go on negative. Yeah, I never. No, I I'm think in one trade, are... but in one trade yeah, only. I, look, so guys, I'll teach you how to trade about stop. You need to be free. No, no, I'll no. I'll teach you how to trade about stop losses. No. <laughs> hey. No, thank you. I do you. it sometimes. No. Be, be I free. I do it sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I'll, click, you I'll, let... click on a, I'll click on a trade that says never exactly. bust and just write it out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, you got to let it play no. out. At least even if it's $5,000. <laughs> No, just gonna let it play. You know, I just Only feel like to lose it. this is too over. <laughs> this is too obvious. I, I don't believe it. I just don't. I'm not. I'm not believing this 33k what? at all. I don't know. I just That's feel like it's thing, gonna though. be. That's like, the thing, though. It's not just you awaken. I've like, seen like this. so many people that don't believe that 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 believe the top is in right now, and I'm like, no. Like I, I've seen no, automatic no, rallies. Not. If this is Wyckoff, I've seen automatic rallies that go to 300 percent before peeling over depending on the asset i mean yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, i'm just right but i don't think this is an automatic rally but that's just my opinion too you know it's just i don't see it um did you guys see the weekly on the 100 as price actions uh trading under on the uh, 100 no, i was looking weekly? at the 200 this is the highest the i've seen I I'm going so an for SMA or is that an EMA? Just, you know, just a one touch, two touch. Uh, EMA. Everyone's good. EMA good pay, 100. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But 30, 30 would be like my max and just full more everyone. Or you know how, how uh, patterns break. They break to the upside, give you that fake, fake out, and then just drop it to the downside. I'm just saying like, just like I get excited for – my 12k every time we get a, a new lower low i think it's important <laughs> too <laughs> to understand that it could yeah. be just a fake out and we could come right back down and you know pay yourself guys but, pay yourself I, would, I don't disagree with that especially if we lose 20k 21,500 like i was saying earlier 20k like i i agree the top's in right here but oh, this is cool no, but, but yeah you know what yeah. Till we then, lose that lower low right there. I don't I don't know, man. We're we're still setting higher lows on the daily is, time frame weekly is how I'm looking yeah. at it. Same. Right there, like we're right doing there. Good. Uh, the weekly? We're doing right. Like that right there looks beautiful the to me on as an investor, like someone that buys buys lows and sells highs, like on, on a yearly, seven yeah. year, ten year thesis. Like that right there looks this is buying opportunity, banger central. And not financial advice. How is this we, buying opportunity? But hold on, how is this even buying opportunity? It's a low. Because I, if, let me show There's you my chart. No let me show you my weekly chart. Let me show you my weekly <laughs> chart. 
because this is dollar cost One average second, pieces after to a me. Lower high? That's, that's how I'm saying. Dollar cost average right now, I, I'm not buying at the lower high. I, I'm down, I don't know what, at least 10% right now. I'm dollar cost averaging in right now. I'm not saying they deploy everything. Right, right, right. I just wanted to show you this uh, chart in general. On the weekly, we have the 100, and this is a lower high, and after a lower high comes a low. Either it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a low no matter what. It's either going to be a low or a low. That's what I'm saying. This is time to de-risk, and then when you want to buy, you want to buy at your lows, not at your highs. In the weekly, we're at our highs. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, this is yeah. not time to buy high, like, so oh, high. to the moon. <laughs> yeah, no, so absolutely not. But go ahead, go ahead buy and share high, your so chart. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. Yeah, no. Come I'll on, I, I like to buy high. Go ahead and share. I like to buy high and I like to sell high. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> the antithesis <laughs> of what we teach here. <laughs> Uh, that's um, wrong. <laughs> I know that's real. Um, but uh, where's my weekly? Um, Hold on. That's, are you? Yeah, me this go is ahead and this is my use. weekly. I'm surprised yeah, I even second. survived in crypto Happy. buying high and selling low. Right. Me too. I bought all. Can my... you see me now? Jesus. Yeah. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my weekly that awesome. I've been been looking at. Um, and and I'm viewing this going back multiple years like you know you know you know who um <clears throat> but uh but yeah i'm just i'm just viewing this inverse possible head and shoulders pattern to me that's going to be bullish and give me you could say jordan i don't dislike him i love him i, know, I think he's I a know. great mindset guy i still i, I still to... look at his lives every saturday i'm hearing him i, I think it, i it just didn't know uh, i just didn't you know what i'm saying i didn't oh. want to look stir up the pot or nothing but uh, no, but like, no TA. This, is, this is my this neckline. <laughs> this is my neckline is what I'm considering right here. Like, I, I know this could be off from what somebody else is viewing it. And I'm just viewing this as a possible inverse head and shoulders. And this has been going back for, again, this is the weekly. So for, for months, um, I'll actually consider it to be, uh, I think, right here and be conservative. Um, and if we come back and retest this, 200 or this 223 uh skull and bones 2023 this is the 223 weekly exponential moving average which is around 24,500. maybe we break below it again you were talking about uh setting you know we're just set our lower high we've got to set our low i think that low is going to be nothing more than a low high low higher low maybe 21,500 right here and then we Ouch. go up um, you know, I, again, maybe, maybe the short squeeze is going to really, you know, suck air, sucker a lot of people in and then liquidate them right back out. I don't know. Um, but I'm just seeing this as after what, since we may, June of last year, uh, a year of what, what we've been calling, you know, figuring out what a bottom is right now, the bottom's confirmed. Like without a doubt, over a year it took a year to get there. Almost <laughs> here we go. Like to me, I I'm seeing a short-term bottom with a short-term what we've been in since obviously January, the beginning of the year, a recycle. And again, one, two, three, like we've talked about before this, like you're saying, and then that could possibly take us to 12k, is what I'm thinking, because if our low came in right here on November 9th, 11.9, I think we could possibly go to a low of 11,900 after 33K, at least 33. Like, that's just that's just on the weekly, that's how I'm viewing it. And I'm viewing it, I'll, I'll plug this up in a second, on this right here, FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Look at all this narrative this week already that took us to a low, but so far we're getting a hammer doji on the weekly all the way back up. You know, just about to probably cause more FOMO, fear of missing out moving forward. I just really think that, you know, this is my favorite chart in the world. Just looking at rockets and FUD, fair uncertainty and doubt and FOMO, <laughs> market sentiment. And and I, I just believe we're about to get maybe another push down lower, but I still think it's going to be high, lower, high, or uh, low, higher, low, higher, low, 
before we set the third higher high and like you talk about peel over the market's moving threes we all know that one two three gemini 33 this month we might hit 33 if we don't do it before gemini i think you're right that this top is in but after being in an 80 day consolidation range i i we should have already had a downside implied a movement period upside downside but 80 days like that's almost three months that's that's almost a quarter of a year a third of a year um so that's that's what i'm looking at is just something's something's got to give and i think they're building the narrative with the debt ceiling with all the you know things coming up around the fomc meeting this this month um just so many things uh I just think there's going to be one more narrative that pushes us up or catches us off guard, I should say, rather than push us up. Well, this really quick. I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> I know you are. Uh, <laughs> <I guess> <laughs> uh, well, I love it. That was good. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is my narrative. Okay. Uh, you, you come into the month. I'd rather follow your narrative right? than the television that structure. tells lies to my vision. Bloody television. <laughs> Wait, you get your, you, you right. get your TA. So, Who gets their TA from television? <laughs> right. That's still That's a thing. So on the monthly, I mark my high. I'm joking. I'm joking. On the monthly, I mark my, ah. <laughs> my high in the low. Right. And in the monthly, we have created a higher low. So. So yes, uptrend, but then you go to your weekly and you have to acknowledge that the weekly we created a lower high, okay? And after the weekly, you go into your daily and in your daily, we have created a lower low. So with this being said, just looking at market st structure, if we don't cross this, okay? So this could be another, right now I'm fishing for the lower high and we're talking lower high, uh, anything under 28, 4, is consider a lower high and if, right. we, if we don't cross this previous high this is going to come and create new lows so that's that scenario for me to see a rotate we need this high lower high on the daily to break retrace to cr create a higher low and then continue market structure to the upside but till this lower high on the daily of 28406 cross we have not done anything and we're still in a downtrend. Yep. That's my observation uh, when it comes to market structure. So till that 28,406 cross, right now I am fishing for that lower high on the daily. And when I say lower, fishing lower high, I'm gonna go to my four hours, right? And we saw the imbalances that um, the, our PVA candles show show us and we have a beautiful ca uh, candles around the 28s so when I'm saying fishing for a daily low high, I'm gonna go to my four hours and look at the imbalances get my targets from this and um, where's my cross right here so and my imbalances with this wick is right here so this is where i'm going to be fishing to add short to form for that possible lower high on the daily on the four hour yeah we're crossing this trend oh i must be in profits hold on because i, I nope. enter along no but that's beautiful so we are going to 27 uh 8 9 7 but i just want you guys to see that that if we don't cross 28 406 we're just gonna create that Correct. daily um, lower high and then continue to the downside. So, and, yeah. and yeah, cross, that makes sense. Right? I can market buy, structure I can buy that is narrative. gonna bring us down. <laughs> this one's all right. Um, well, but um, yeah, it's, it's really important. Because I don't know me. if the, because like um, I said, that's uh, how I was saying. Is, yeah, 21.5 is still on the cards for me. So I can buy this. 21.5 is not this. even, no. Oh, yeah, no, I don't even, I'm not even, I'm like, this is our range, right? This is all our concern. Right. 21 is not even part of our range. Um, this is just our concern right here. And 
on the four hour right now where we're fishing and even in the four hour you can start seeing the rotation if we don't cross this lower high and i do think we will cross it just based on my target we're gonna get this nice push to the upside we're gonna get a rotation and then we might get that confirmation on the four hours um and that's yeah. when you start seeing your rotation because <clears throat> we have a low we're gonna cross this lower high and create a new four hour high bring down right. and create the higher low and then continue to the upside right and then yeah, um, nice the and pattern. even then yeah and even then we could continue up and just roll right back down but till this 28406 right. crosses we're still in a downtrend tree and the daily creating new lows and the daily creating new um lower lows and new uh lower highs yeah, that's what I see. Nice M pattern right there, basically. Yeah, so that just goes back to the W, which we spoke about a few days ago, where it's got a right. lock in the pattern. So cross yeah. over the four hour. So, so for me, cross over the four hour cloud, go up to 27.9, and then drop down back to 27.3, four, whatever it is, continuation. That's, that's confirmation of the W breakout. Yeah. I mean, this is such a yep. beautiful, like, V recovery. It is. I mean, pretty. this it's is pretty. the thing. And, and I'm glad I, I drew it best... over a week ago with you live. But did you play it? Did you play it? Did you play yes, it? I did. My bank did I play it? I played oh, it I to the downside all day yesterday. Oh, that's nice. awesome. Yeah, I played it down and I played it up. So I was so excited. I'm so excited. I just today. played it I'm up. So happy. <laughs> I, lever I leveraged more XRP at its bottom uh, in my 3x leverage long, and now it's back up even more. Um, it's, it's settling oh, right now, back back down. But you, uh, are you still I, in it? I'm stopping in that thing for weeks. Awaken, I told you. Oh, I, I didn't know I, you're still in it. I'm in that. I'm in it to win it, baby. <laughs> Good old XRP. That's one I don't trade XRP. No, I don't trade her either. May the force yeah. be with uh, the traders of XRP. This is a crazy, crazy coin. Um, yo, 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 your... raised by wolves, Cameron Beck. Shout out to both of y'all in the house. Sorry. Um, hey, guys, people, raised by wolves. People I know um, met in real life. Uh, one of them is my roommate. The other one I've actually got a privilege to meet. So, sorry, that oh. kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> That's, right. That's going to be... <laughs> no worries no worries and xrp um like i said i see this rising wedge and you know rising wedge just play to the downside Ooh, so to the downside six eight percent chance mm -hmm. so we'll see we'll see what the market brings but i definitely think that you know every time that the market moves rapidly like that it's just the system antagonizing more um more people to come into the market and we just have to keep our heads straight and understand that okay, we're still in the same range and market structure. We're we have officially created a new low on the daily, and that's big. You know, creating a new low on the daily is big because that's just pushing price action um, to the downside. And I don't think anyone's been talking about that, but we have officially created a new low with this wick that Correct. happened. Yeah. Um, so that's that's pretty big in my eyes. And yeah. so we'll see where the daily goes from there but but you know i just I, with all this news just like we got into cryptocurrency you know we have to remember what led us here the belief the dream the the hope the the news the fomo the you know and in the end of the day what did we learn from it it was all bs right what do they say when the news start ringing when they're talking about the debt ceiling like you said when they talking about you know the market is it, it, um like our dollars going to go to zero like they're just advertising for people to just buy retail to start buying and this is the top for retail this is like um you tommy dom like i'm looking at the wicks yep. and it's crazy i can't unsee what i see now you know i look at the wicks and the dark colors i i think about retail retail is the ones buying the this you yeah, know, they're all trapped us up in traders, there. Us traders, great because you know how But if you're looking just at the, and we're all trapped. It's all retails, right? And we have to be smarter yeah. than that. Understand that it's true. It's all retails. If you look at the wicks, and it's just antagonizing uh, the buyers. Absolutely, we have a, a imbalance at thirty three, and we could most definitely go there. 
but we have to really co I mean, consider the daily new law <laughs> that was created today. In those weeks, in those weeks too, it is also institutional orders because they're putting themselves in drawdowns in, in order to entice everybody to join them. Because Correct. Obviously, obviously right. they can add a lot more to their margin than we could ever ever could dream of doing. You know what I mean? So they can sit in those positions for months, right. years, yeah. whatever. Like they are. There's, oh, yeah, yeah. there's one at around 60k yeah. that they've been sitting in for for like over a year now. Yeah. Right. Right. But. <laughs> um, but I'd like to see, but, well, yeah, I'd like to see know, that one that they, yeah. Go. No, 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 go, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I'm just saying, no, no, I'd just like to see the one on the weekly, on the weekly get recovered at about 35 to 39. That'd be nice. And oh, then yeah. I'll call it a day from there. Of course it then. would be nice. It would be wonderful. I'll call it a day after that gets recovered. <laughs> of course it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll be like, yep, the job's done. They did it. They recovered several, everything. Yeah, I'm I happy. Think once this. Is... All right. No, oh, no. The oh, that is so bullish. <laughs> <You're like, I'm... laughs> I was going. I was going to say I'm going to have to love you, Levy, because I got. I got to get to work. I'm just rocked up to the site. Oh yeah. Thank you for joining us, Don. Yeah. No, anytime. Thank you. Yeah, thank um, you for I'll joining us. I'll be able to do us. this more often. Uh, I was going to say I'll be able to do this more often when I'm in the seat in my new job shortly. Which will awesome. be in an office, so That's... I won't have to be uh, and changing on the road all the time anymore. Wonderful, nice, wonderful. Nice. Thank you for stopping uh, by. Much love. All right. Well, it's fun. It's good to see that we're all in profit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it was a beautiful try and, day. Trying to stay that day. way. All right. We're all right. Hi, we're Matt. Right. Just, uh, just uh, stop losses, eh? Yeah, of <laughs> course. Everywhere. Yes, we, we yeah. have to. Just we're do what I here do. No to... stop losses. No, no, no. You have to have a Never stop. Never <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Stop. Yeah. All right. No, I know. Catch you next Bye. time. Bye. Take care. Bye. Okay. Peace. Catch Bye. you. See you in the text. See you in the chat right. room. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, but but yeah. So that's what I was observing. You know, I think it's um, important this daily new low that we created. To be honest with you, and uh, that's that's big in my yeah. eye. It's just the way market structure moves. And if we don't break the new high, it's just going to keep rolling down to the downside. Right? It's just market structure, and that's what it's going to do. So it's important to understand. Um, you know, and I go from the weekly, the monthly, the weekly, and the daily, and then the four hours, where the highs, where the lows are at. And um, how the rotation would happen within those time frames. But yeah, right. Um, do you want to check anything else? Do you guys have any questions? Hi, Matt. Thank you. Raised by the wolves. I'm t tell them it's all fud. Yes, it is. That's what I said. <laughs> it's all fud. I'm telling you, every time they pump it, every time they're talking about the news, like I feel the the regular people. It's just cycles that are repeating. The regular people are just getting into it. You know, there's more crypto talk. And people think the dollar's going to zero. And, you know, it's just antagonizing people retail to buy. And that's what they want. They want retail to buy a high, but we're not retail. So this is the time to de-risk. This is the time to be smart about it and understand that, okay, this is this could be a possible turnaround as the FOMO, as, you know, the news. Because we understand yeah. market structure. Yeah. I'm looking at the full moon and the fact that we're a few days away from it, uh, three days ago. And I typically find great opportunities of, you know, dollar cost averaging in around the full moon and de-risking around the new moon. Um, so the fact that we're getting this low right now and then possibly getting that pump like you're like you've got drawn right there heading into the new moon coming up in, a, you know, a few days, um, you know, it, it's just, you know, it's monthly, it's cyclical, you know. So, hey guys, sorry for disturbing. Um, I had a question also. What do you expect from the alts yet? Is it uh, when Bitcoin gonna pump to 33? It gonna there is no alt season, or you expect it still? Well, uh, if Bitcoin pumps, I expect it to bring a lot of the alts with it. Um, maybe not every one of them, but it's also going to depend on what's Bitcoin dominance doing. What's the dollar doing? Um, those are two things we could possibly look at as well. 
um because those are all three bitcoin and those other two are i think are all three really determining factors on what happens to the altcoins and when um it happens okay so, so uh, but, bitcoin yeah. is so, also always your 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 leader and uh it depends yes. when the crumbs come up and falling in the alts something like that that you can imagine yeah so you can picture, mr warner you, Yes. Oh, sorry. I just, I, <laughs> no, no I just wanted to say, I from the beginning have always said that BTC is the sun of the universe. So imagine yeah. the sun being BTC and the planets being the olds. So everything okay. is gravity, everything's energy, right? So where BTC yeah. goes, it's gonna move the olds. So just remember, if BTC pumps, uh, the olds, you know, it will bring that volume, that energy to all the olds. And if BTC crashes it will crash the market. Okay. And that's how I understood it from the beginning of time. When I saw the energy in the charts, I was like, there's energy, there's a flow and BTC. That's why I treat her with kindness. That's why you always hear me like, be kind mm -hmm. to her, BJ, because she's the leader. <laughs> she is the, you know, she leads the path. Yeah, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is like the living one and the others are like zombies, you know? <laughs> okay. And so the zombies are always chasing Bitcoin, you know, because it's the living one. It wants, they want, they want to, you know, suck the blood, you know, they want to eat the, you know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Walking dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Great. Yeah. So we just had a new moon, right? The new moon? Uh, just no, we just had a full moon. Um, oh, the third, June 3rd. It was uh, pretty powerful, actually, you know. Um, to be quite frank uh what new moon yeah it was a strawberry really? moon huh? yeah it's, the strawberry uh, moon exactly um it's it's you know very unique hmm so the new moons bring bearish right yeah, this would sentiment uh, to the market new moons bring typically bullish and full moons typically bring bearish um eclipses tend to vary uh sometimes in february leading into march uh, a full moon may bring bullish energy while a new moon brings bearish energy i've seen that the last three years sometimes um sometimes it's different it really just depends on the time so frame how, what how do year you use it, it as trading well um like <laughs> right now this so is how do a you strawberry use it moon. trading uh how do i use it in trading you want to share um, your chart yeah yeah because I'll, i don't do use that. them in trading I, I i use them like this i want to share with you uh the best noon, moon pattern i think there is if you'll allow me um i'll share Ooh, and we back once again all right i'll be here um but yeah uh right here um if you go to in silly four seasons i-n-s-i-l-l-i-c-o-s -L -L in silico's four seasons um that's the best one i like to use it shows the vernal equinox the summer solstice coming up it shows the autumn equinox all these types of astrological time periods plus the new moon the full moon the third moon and the first the first first moon and the third moon see this rally into the first moon and a dump into the full moon well, I'm getting ready to de-risk into the new moon or maybe the third moon. It just depends. But oh, but just like right back here, averaging after this consolidation contraction zone, like you would say, contraction range, dollar cost averaging in, you know, whatever, over a multiple day time period from March 15th all the way to April, you know, a few weeks. Full moon, we kind of got a dip to 27,200 and we bounced up from there you know that's my range into the third moon the new moon de-risk okay boom get ready to accumulate accumulate it's a falling wedge pattern 68 percent chance of a breakout boom de-risk accumulate new moon consolidation range because we can't get support around 27,000 we get above it de-risk accumulate that's how i use it it's just on a daily time frame it's it, you can't look at it on a four hour it, you got to literally look at it on a 30 a monthly uh, a daily time frame and really be hip so to, you're, to what's going you're on. selling you're selling on your new moons right you're de risking on top 
You're selling on yes. the new moon. Yes. Selling like this right here was a great opportunity. When I talked about ahead of time, uh, the CME gap possibly getting closed in 1993 and boom, we fall to 1993 or fall through it. But that was the range I was talking about. That's where I had a limit order to buy. I then de-risked that at 27,200 at 28 K when we hit it. Um, it, it just had automatic limit orders to hit, you know, um, that's, that's how I do it. That's how I personally do it. And this is the best one I found in Silico's four seasons to, uh, to use, but it's so much more than just using the indicator. It's knowing that this is the twin flames, strawberry full moon that happened on June the third. You know what I'm saying? This, full moon is balancing the the power and light codes are currently you is know, that why lit. we got two big wicks if you think, think about so. it i think so the twin flames it. you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying uh a big that, down and a big high that's that why i sense. that's why i drew it out as a v-shaped recovery uh, over a week ago in the video with us because this is a uh, this is kind of like the twin flames, the the duality, you know, that uh, that's why I use the two hour time frame I stated earlier. But it's it's all about the energy and, um, you know, the the light coding right now and the the astrology that we're getting that's helping us, you know, dissipate the false programming. You know what I'm saying? This is a fake out, shake out. Yeah, false programming, you know, is what I'm thinking. Um, but it's so your, much deeper. Go go to your 22 hours. It's so interesting. I'm just staring at the 22 hours. 22 hours. And it's you, as you were speaking about the twin uh, moon, you could see the the beauty. Just type in 22. Oh yeah, the populator. Yeah. Yes. If you type in 22, you could see. Like I, as you were talking, I was like, oh, they look like little twin, the wicks of you zoom in. And you're talking about like this strawberry. Right, right here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. See, this is the twin towers. This goes back to Freemasonic knowledge. Um, I'll share with you. Uh, if we just look it up, the, uh, the Royal Arch. Um, we're going to have to put a Freemasonry. I spelled royal wrong, but this is Boaz and Yachin. Yachin, Boaz and Yachin, however you pronounce it. Um, I'm probably slaughtering that. But if you look at this picture right here, it's the, it's the Twin Towers, the two towers. What's at the top right here? The 69. What is our next zodiac we're transitioning into? Cancer. The cancer, 69, yes, 69 on, yeah. on the right here at the end of the month um we're transferring cancer bitcoin hit 69k top we're tra transferring into cancer on june 21st that is the summer solstice this is when i think we might hit 33k around this time period if we don't before we hit cancer or in the transition time period of the 21st and the 22nd because look at this i teach so many my pioneers for two, three years know around the 21st, 22nd of every month, we tend to get a microstructure reset, recycle in the markets. Whether that's a microstructure high, most of the time it's a microstructure low leading to a, a high um, over time. But it's typically around one of these zodiac changes around the 21st, 22nd of the month. And uh, I've also taught that that's because change, reset, recycle also gives you the 22 um but it's all around the summer solstice coming up um and that's why i think that's when we're gonna hit during gemini that uh, uh i'm sorry i'm losing it uh 33k and then well 187 maybe possibly pull over or have a pullback from that range 33 is going to be a very psychological range i think um to be honest Absolutely. Yes. No. Yeah. So, um, a question and one other thing about swing trading when you want to do it uh, in a constantly two times a month or something, when you follow the moon. So, you when you have your moon down, 
um, then that's the moment that you have to seek a, have a downtrend that you can buy in. And when you have a new moon, you have to see when you have an uptrend or something like a, a higher high, when you can sell sell your things. That's how, how you, you make the market. Correct. Um, I wouldn't do it on, on, under leverage, though. No. I wouldn't do it under. No, 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 no. Leverage. I don't. I don't right. trade with leverage. I don't do I, that. I would do spot trade maybe because if you go back, it doesn't yes. always work at all. If you go okay. back and 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 test this theory, um, I, I I do see the energy, but just mark every full moon in the bottom, like right there. Uh, that full moon that happened on March fifth. That full oh, moon yeah. should have been a bullish. And what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just it crashed down. down. And it crashed oh, this down. One. This and one right here? Down. Yeah. If you go to the four hours, you can see it better. But yeah, yeah it's crazy. No, I mean, I see. Um, no, no. Of course, I. you have to. It, it always have to uh, met all conditions. That, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot do it blind. <laughs> yeah. And that was That's the true. CME gap. That was the conditions okay. you're talking about. It met right yeah. here. Yeah, where they, just, they just met closing those sophisticated market participant orders or, um, or we have january 20th we have when january 20 what what did we have we had uh, a new moon right and it, it kept going up that and was it, yeah uh january right back here um this was coming um, out of a full moon and then it led into a new moon see by the full moon sell the I new moon the this was leading into the rabbit year when we transitioned into mm -hmm. the rabbit year, the Chinese zodiac, the new moon in Chinese, plus our new our new year. Right. So right. out of the low, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but absolutely, but you know, if you go back and back test it, you know, some work and some don't. That's all I'm trying right. to say. So you Correct. have to be careful. Correct. Yeah, we can pinpoint the ones that do work, but there's a lot of new moons where the new moon and Imagine you sell, it's going to keep pumping up, or you buy at a yeah. full moon and it's going to still keep dumping down. So you have to be really smart about, I mean, maybe like um, Abe says in regards to looking at it maybe in the eight hours time frame. But even looking at the eight hour time frame, there's a lot of times where you find a lot of consolidation phases. And if you're stuck in one of those phases, you're not going anywhere, you know? And Correct. And, and that's what It'll, we're in now, like you were talking about, a consolidation like, phase. Yeah, we could definitely have a new moon, a, a, a new moon, a full moon or whatnot, you know. So that's why I kind of sort of explain it. And I, but I do believe that it brings a lot of energy because I do see that. Like the energy is real to me. Like if it's full moon or a new moon, like the volatility in the market, I feel like it's increased. Or it could just be me, right? That I I see that because you know I do think that they are important, but um, and I do like to hopefully you know go with the trend. But at the end of the day, trade with the trend, <laughs> go with right. the flow. You know, market structure, price action is going to tell you where price action is going. Right. Yeah. This was uh when I before Dom left, uh, I was talking about my first twenty eight k de risking range that I've had for for months uh drawn out uh you know because i knew we would get this impulsive wave after a corrective wave impulsive wave corrective wave impulsive wave corrective wave for a year we mm -hmm. we're bound to have a pretty decent impulsive wave so far we're up roughly 100 percent down from there so i knew 28k 32 to and possibly 37k was was going to be my targets to de-risk so so far we've hit one of them so you know if that's it well whatever but this is that megaphone pattern you and I have talked about multiple times. And, uh, you know, we're just getting a great recovery. Twin patterns right now having a bullish engulfing on the daily time frame. So, you know, definitely if we close in five minutes or six minutes on the daily, roughly, um, then, uh, then yeah. Uh, or is it 19 minutes? I don't know. Uh, I don't know when we close. If it's 8.30 or 8 anymore. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, so if we, if we close... In a bullish engulfing, then uh, definitely uh, at least for the short time period, possibly tomorrow, uh, unless it's just another fake out back down. Um, this this is you know a bounce right here. Just bounce it. Just I don't know. At least we're holding a trend line. One touch, two touch. We fell through. V bottom recovery. 
same thing, you know, just bullish engulfing. Maybe tomorrow we come up here and retest 28 like you were talking about and get rejected or, or set a, a lower high um, of 27.9, that area y'all were talking about there. I've got that on my chart as well, you see. So, so yeah. Yeah, for me, it's all within the daily high and the right. daily low. That is my range, and I think that's critical to – to observe that we officially created a daily low and that's big yeah from here to here is what you're talking about we said a new daily yeah. low yeah we said a new um, daily low yeah this is okay. what i was thinking one time though was that you know buying climax selling you know a little bounce but now this was the bottom you know one touch two touch confirming bottom we had another, you know, little rally, but now, like you were talking about, maybe sitting that spring and then coming out of it, uh, obviously to LPS, SP, uh, SOS, um, who knows, but, uh, but yeah, yeah. It, it really just determines that 25,200. I'm really adamant about that to be quite frank. Um, I think that's the key. Uh, if we which, hold that, which one? 25,200 roughly the the daily we were at 25.3 today but we're we've wicked um long wick theories on the smaller time frames you know that tends to show trend reversal all day long it's been to the upside since that long wick theory uh but it's it's really just retesting cluster highs right here um that we never came back and retested since breaking out uh we had some resistance right here but we broke out, never really retested. So if we break 25,200 back here, back here, then that's why I think we could go down to 24 uh, or, or even lower. But right now it's one touch, two touch, or one time, two times it was resistance. This is just, you know, our final back test, I think. Who, who knows? Because that's going back months. You know, I'm, I'm going back to last year looking at that on the daily. So just zooming out and yeah. just trying to get a broader time period and view of this. Because right Absolutely. now, I mean, even as we get ready to close, we're, we're still pushing up. Um, 27,200. If we close the day 27,200 awake, and you know I'm going to be bullish on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, where's my chart? I'll show you that one in a second. That's the one you're going to be bullish on. Let me hide some of this nonsense so y'all can see this a lot better. I think um, it, I, I think if it ever hits, I mean, I will hit 33 one day but within like two three months maybe if it hits um i would still not be, not be bullish yeah <laughs> but yeah twenty seven thousand two hundred two hour daily candle close right here i, I just think that's going to be major for a potential 28k like we were talking about earlier a push up to you know maybe a 30k like you were saying a, a double top basically a m pattern possibly like you were saying because you're bearish um and i'm not saying you're wrong because if we pull my regression or sorry uh my regression uh degression trend out uh and just pull it out to today we see that well we could pump up to just the top of this it's been a major trend line rejection 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 for months so we could easily pop pop up and set a lower high like you were saying at twenty seven thousand seven hundred. i think dom brought that up and come right back down but we could hold twenty seven thousand two hundred, like you were saying and that'd be the lps sos phase out of here too so i mean it's really just we're what are we going to come back next week and see you know um because it's a bunch of hurry up and wait right here but this long wick theory double bottom in the you know charts right here maybe left shoulder head right shoulder you know i don't know i'm just playing around right here this is speculation that's a whacked up head okay. and shoulder that's like cone I mean, head i'll behave no worries uh, let me let me share something that i thought it was unique yeah i'm done really. um, just... just really quick before we could wrap this up um, am I sharing? I didn't yeah, even realize sharing. we've been on here an hour and, and I half. think, wow. you know, so yeah, things, you know, based on their market structures and, um, just understanding where, um, and I guess it doesn't matter, but the point is that, um, 
where sorry where I was trying to get at here right we're on our weekly time frame and I have this monthly trend line that I I've shown from and I will keep showing and this for me is major monthly trend line where we broke down we retested got rejected and now we're coming back to the downside right and um, with my with my higher high lower low indicator you can see it in the monthly interesting here I guess right just I I, I just want to see on the daily there we go we go to the daily right i'm actually uh looking at this as a bear flag much of uh for the bear flag this right here is it a bear flag okay in a downtrend i i think it's important for people to understand in a downtrend you're gonna get a lot of bear flags meaning you're gonna get higher lows higher lows higher lows and over time, we've continued to get those higher lows. But um, for me, this high and this high connect, right? It's telling me this high was critical, this high was critical, this low was critical, and this low was critical. Okay, I'm gonna actually erase the monthly trend line because it's irrelevant to what I'm doing right now. So with that being said, we have a beautiful channel here. Okay, so right here beautiful channel that this price action is playing within that that i don't for me like this channel breaks it's over right um and what i mean over i mean 12k over because that's what i see i see a a bear flag on the daily and i'm calling a bear flag on the daily just based on our previous history and just what it has done in the previous so if you, if you go back every time everyone oh, sorry let me erase this where's my channel every time everyone's like oh the it having you heard this i think we were all here april um oh it's going to the moon what happened bear flag it's going to the moon bear flag it's going to the moon, bear flag. Okay, <laughs> and that's what I'm seeing. And I, yeah, <laughs> it's true. But... Every time that everyone's like, it's going to the moon, it gives. And when it bullish, if you go back, there were two more before there's that. There's actually an uptrend. Yeah, but you know, I'm just co copying the. How the many? Ones. How many are there going to be? Actually, though? on an uptrend. No, it's just markets. I'm just trying to make a point here that right. this is a bull flag. This is a bull flag. We're in an uptrend on bull flags. This is a bull flag uptrend. So th that's why I don't see where, like, what uptrend are we in? I don't understand the uptrend. Like, this is creating higher, higher lows. Higher lows is just forming this huge bear flag in my perspective. Right. And right. I just want to bring that attention to him that is um, seeing or hearing yeah. me that I, it's important to make that. that observation that when you're officially in the uptrend, you're going to see bull flags, not bear flags. Right. I don't, I, yeah. I don't and, um, doubt that we're and, in a bear flag. Back, I just still think there's one more leg in it upwards um, before we roll over. Yeah. 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 And another thing that um, I, I've brought before, I know, it's this market structure, right? This was our line. This is my line in the sand, the 25400 too. And you can see how, like, just looking at market structures, right? This is, this is its own contraction phase, right? This is its own zone here. We're above it, yeah. But I feel like it has me personally has not much to do with this previous contraction phase right i think this right. zone itself right here it's its own contraction phase um and within this zone it's critical to just observe okay what's happening right now right now literally price action is just waking around doing you know sideways just playing sideways till it does decide but um ultimately you know, I'm just seeing a bunch of bear flags. 
to the downside, but I could just be me. I'm just a yeah. bear. Yeah. But no, um, I mean, not, yeah, you're absolutely you know, like, right. I think we're, I think we're spot on. Huh? No, no, go ahead. No, I was just saying, and, I think you're spot I mean, on. When did this Bitcoin have it happen? What Bitcoin having? The next one coming up is April seventh. No, the Bitcoin having. Are you next talking year? about pre yeah, it's not April seventh is yeah, April seventh next year is what's on the Bitcoin like there's a clock online you can go to. I forget the website, uh having clock I don't remember. But uh it, it counts down to April seventh, two thousand twenty four. So I don't I don't know. That's just what it says. Like I'm just taking what it gives us. Um, I but I know it's around March. Right, because my understanding twenty twenty four. That's okay. Okay, so you're pretty good at math, right? Uh, well, I mean, uh, I, I like to call like myself a, a self-proclaimed <laughs> math mathematician, but I, I study it every day. I use it every day in my life at work on, and the work I u do online. Yeah. You see that. Um, so, yeah. April. Yeah, I, that's my right. birthday. That's my birthday. <laughs> it was saying April the 7th. Yes, ma'am. I'll turn 34. I, I'm 33. Uh, I'm a 33. Speak nice to me. Um, <laughs> but uh, but wow. Yeah, it's going to be on my birthday. birthday next year. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Bitcoin that's awesome. Happening. That's crazy. April 24. When was the previous one? I wonder. Okay. It should tell us here. The previous one, uh, 2020, May 11th, right? So 2020, May 11th. So this is uh, this is just something I want to do really quick. May 2020. What did we say? Yeah, 2020. <laughs> 2020. And May. Okay. So before the halving. Okay. So we're talking about April of 2024. Uh, let's just mark yeah, April. Yeah, that's, that's August. Okay. You oh, got to mark August. Yeah, I just wanted to know. Sorry. No, you're good. There right we there. go. Perfect. Okay. So this so with this being said, I mean just looking at it, you can't where like, aligns this twelve K. <laughs> right there. That's where it aligns. Like that's that, that's, that's my I mean. eleven thousand nine hundred dollar target. I've got limit orders to buy there. Like you know that. We've talked about this for like seven weeks now. But like I, I can see that. I can see that. But I just think it comes uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh this that 2018 rally. No, I just, I I just that's what I'm looking at right here. Um you know, uh, this one right and, here, yeah, and, and the previous 2015, I think. Uh, I'm looking at both of those, or maybe it was 13, either or. I'm looking at two of the previous cycles, and I'm thinking, wow, this was really a fork. And then I go back to the other one, and I'm like, wow, this is really a fork. And now we're only up a hundred percent. And I'm like, I think we got just a few more percent to go, like, not much, like, nothing to get, you know sell your kids sell your wife you know none of that nonsense but i just think uh it's gonna do <laughs> one more leg shake everybody out think they're gonna go to a new all-time high to the moon and then it's gonna rug pull you right back down to possibly 12k eleven thousand nine hundred, like like i think um if we break 15k again like that's the determining factor um, so this is this is my bull flag i can see that, that that I've that. drawn before, and this is what I think we're at, and uh, and I and I it just points perfectly to the Bitcoin having. Hey Nathan, thank you for stopping by. Hey um, Modern, this is. Hey, is Modern Sword here? Yeah, that's Nathan. No. Oh. Yeah, Nathan <laughs> Ward, not Modern Sword. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So sorry, this I just is... try to remember. Yeah, I'm so bad with names. But um, this is what I'm seeing, and this is where I think that's why we're at a critical pivot point of selling, of de-risking itself. Because, I mean, the fact that we all know BTC is going to 24, I mean, that the halving is not till April of 2024, it's like, you right. know, like, why, yeah. why not? selling and risking at this area because this is well, see from this side it's just gonna 
roll over and then at 24 and then that's your bull flag right there well the sophisticated ones like us we we did like i said at 28k at 30k we we did de-risk um just some people are buying right now but we can also pop above that trend line and then just ride down the outside of it above below it above below it all the way into the having too you know um that that's a possibility we don't just have to get oh. rejection from it like this and then go up um yeah 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 I something see, like I that see what you you're know? talking about like up. yeah yeah <laughs> Could be, could be, definitely. And, but could. I mean, we can come back down below it too and touch but, the um, bottom too. You know, we can fall back below it still, but we can go up above it, ride it, fall back below it, hit the bottom again. You know, do whatever. I mean, it's anybody's decision. We know that. Um, we didn't design the market, but they sure like to play with us. Honestly, um, but I've got another. I've got honestly, another great chart that shows a that Elliott the wave of the. And then you have uh, the fake outs, right? I mean, right. a stop hunts, Correct. not even the fake outs. They're, they're stop hunts. We have to remember this Correct. is a liquidity game. And and yes. the market makers has, has to antagonize buyers and sellers to take action so they could get their liquidity and run to the opposite side. So with that being said, I could definitely see a fake out to the upside here. And that's what I was uh, showing earlier. But other than that, what i mean a fake out the highest you know maybe 30k again you know give us a double top and then continue to the downside but this for me this is this is our top to to roll down um you know it's just just my perspective my my views right. but i definitely see the 33 possibility um just not 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 within this year maybe maybe in five years <laughs> I'll go and get that liquidity <laughs> maybe in five years. But yeah. How oh, much did it take from this? Interesting. I now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. From this to this, it took 544 days. So if we count 544 days from this having to 544 days, we're gonna have an approximately type uh you know, just average too. I don't I don't expect it to be 544 exactly uh there it is right. i got it exactly so we could possibly see a top around you know let's what did i do mark it's not even marking it it's so at oh maybe if i go to the monthly uh october of 2025 it's marking october of 2025 that, that would be approximately Similarly, where the where could come and recover, and then we'll have, you know, the high until 2025, and that's what yeah, I'm seeing. Just based on one touch, two touch, maybe a, uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, maybe. late 24, 25 Let's is see. when I think the top of the the next all time high comes in for crypto. I, I can agree with that, um, definitely. Uh, what was I thinking? Here comes I here I comes thinking. the other bull. Who's that? Dom. Dom. Dom's back. Yes. You and Dom. Oh, hi guys. Are we still... You know what? Oh, are we still talking about the 33K? I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still... That's a possibility. I'm still also 12. My... And also 12. Uh, no, I'm just talking I... shit. I'm, I'm talking talk... shit. Talking about 12K. <laughs> oh, God, I love that 12K. Bring it. Yeah, I got a great Elliott Wave pattern as theory to the downside to show you awakening. Honestly, like, okay. No. Honestly, we are so close to 12k today. <laughs> it's not that yeah. far. <laughs> Just as close but, uh, we are to 33. Just as close yeah. exactly. as we are to 33. But pick a oh, side. Well, yeah, Do you pick want to go to the dark side, side or the good side? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. What is what that. is what is the good side? Uh, thirty-three k. No, but it's like it's right, know, it's right, it's right there near heaven. Side. You know, see what's Heaven's around thirty-nine k. But honestly, I'll send you some um, oh. uh, like a little bit of Bitcoin if it goes to thirty-nine k. All right. <laughs> like a hundred Bitcoin. Okay. <laughs> hundred okay. hundred Bitcoin for everybody. <laughs> Oh, damn it. I, I, wish I, was I wish I was mining in 2012. 
Like I said, a hundred big click. I'm recording this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, that, that's actually expensive. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'll send you a hundred. No, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you when it goes to twelve k. Yeah, twelve k, I'll give you a hundred Bitcoin. All right. XRP. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, sorry, I said Bitcoin. I meant XRP. Apologies. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Just yeah, no, like, just jumping back in because I got time. I heard that. No, I could see that. Awesome. You're looking that's at uh, the long range market, yeah. Yeah. The what if? This is what, what I'm is. looking at. <laughs> you guys like talk about halvings now, or that's that's what that's what <laughs> she was what talking I'm about halvings. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's become that's become a hot topic now. Because the previous, <laughs> I want to get you guys all excited to realize that the halvings not happening until next year. Just the reality. On my birthday. Yeah, but that, I thought that was a, a I thought that was the case. That 2024. <laughs> I thought we knew this but, three years ago. Yeah. Uh, doesn't it dump every so hobby? why do you want to go to the dump? It does. It does dump usually six months before uh, or after. Usually, that's like, right. It, yeah, it's usually a great buying opportunity before, sometimes and after. Um, maybe not as yeah. great, great. Um, later or latter. Um. But like C19 right there, great, great dump before roughly a few yeah. months after uh, another little dump before parabolic rally. So, I, you know, usually around the having is not the best time because you can see we're we're kind of at the top right there where that horizontal line is. But yeah, before yeah. and after there's typically the, the, the euphoria is out of out of there. You know, the unsophisticated traders, they've already spent all their money. They're broke nine to five in it again. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> back to their jobs yeah yeah they're just over broke instead of having joys over boredom no <laughs> which i work a nine to five too you guys but I, I i have a i don't have a job i have a lifestyle you know what i'm saying i have a joy over boredom and then i come oh, i like it this you know i like it yeah. you never work a day in your life no it's all mindset i like it yeah yeah i'm about the same but you know my role is kind of like oh no it's pretty flexible right yeah, I had so, this chart this... for Awaken. I did it for her. Yeah. Back here in uh, November, shortly after our top, I said this could be the first ever macro after 13 years of Bitcoin history. Um, yeah. After, you know, pumping up a million percent, something we've never seen an asset do. Um, I, I said this could be the very first ever macro ABC corrective wave for Bitcoin. And within that, I'm looking at ABC, just how high does the B, how high does this possible four wave go? We know we can't, we're not supposed yeah. to invalidate the two wave is what they say in Elliott wave. But, you know, it's went up a million percent. Is Bitcoin going to follow every rule when it comes to TA? Sometimes it makes me oh, wonder. Uh, but I got this nice one, two, three, four, five, taking us possibly down to this well-respected trend line for multiple years now, uh, all the way down to possibly, you know, I'm thinking, you know, right there okay. around 9,900 or 10,000, 11,900. Again, this low came in on 119, 119. Yeah. So maybe we hit 11,009, like her 12K range. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I threw that out there for her. <laughs> Oh, no, no, okay. that's, actually, that's right. actually technically right. No, no, yeah. no, 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 it's not. I could tell you that, right? It's, I'm sorry, but it's not because it's, the rules of the Elliott Wave. Right? No, what are the rules of Elliott Wave? One of the rules. I don't, I don't follow Elliot. rules. I don't follow rules. That's my thing. Like, it, I don't believe Bitcoin follows the rules. Like, I no, just, but, I, I know, know, but give oh, me no. one second. If I'll you talk put about that level. Oh, but if you put a horizontal line under Elliott Wave 1, Wave 4 cannot surpass uh wave one that is one of the rules well, for earlier wave Correct. i'm just saying well, so so <laughs> oh did i say wave two no no no. right there <laughs> i said it, it can't pass wave two didn't i no, no. It's so not it's built in the algorithm yeah bring it down calm down yeah. there you go right there where it yeah. is right now keep bringing nothing it odd is allowed right to happen <laughs> <laughs> so there you so, go that is so, the earlier wave so we won't this, go to 33. The, then if we're following the rules, it would invalidate my <laughs> Elliott wave. And what it would be is it would be my macro first time Why are ever. you erasing it? It looks perfect how it was. No, no, no. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm it, just saying. It must if, follow the rules. If if we got to follow the rules, then that's already invalidated. Why? 
<laughs> well, it could be, and if it is, then it's the A B C. How high does the B wave go before our C wave? The no, very no, first no. ever fourteen I, years before we I had like, a who made ABC. these rules? Was it Elliot? Yeah. Elliot wave yes. pattern theory, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, Did Elliot like, himself make the rule? Is that yes. no? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. But, but yeah. I had the PDF file. No, but that looks beautiful. And but that's yeah. honestly what I think. But you have to understand that we are in wave in the subwave, entering subwave five. And it makes total sense with my theory. That means this yeah. is the top and we're rolling down to twelve K. Yeah. I mean I, uh. I can I can see that, but I just you know <laughs> I just think it's after a fake out to the upside, like just a liquidity, a, a week, yeah. just boom. Stop you know, could be one. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to give Elliot a call, mate. <laughs> going to get fucking Elliot. <laughs> Ooh, you better wake him up from he his makes... grave. I'm going to ask him that same question. I go, who's resisting it and who's supporting it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the magic and the charts. Stop. I love it. I love it. So I love taking the piss out of us. It. It's fun. <laughs> No, yeah. But yeah, no. Look, I, I see that twelve k. Look, there's uh, there's orders down there that are waiting to be recovered. They've been waiting so long. Yeah, the CME gap. Do I have that pulled up right here? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a CME gap, but also um, it was interesting to watch it at fifteen seven, where they actually faked out and recovered half of the vectors, and then moved back up. So right. At that time, I was like, yeah, they're going to take it. They're going to go all the way to twelve, thirteen k. They're going to do it, but they didn't do it at that time. They just fucking went up huh i guess i don't which, know which makes sense because it's usually a 50 percent recovery yeah That's yeah it. yeah <laughs> where was elliot then <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i'm joking, I'm joking. Nope, I, I like your elliot wave i like it uh, it's, all, that I mean, the same stuff to me. it's a yeah. lightning bolt yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all you know. It, we're all, everything we're doing is all the same. I, I do want it to be right, even though I want thirty three k to be right because I want to de risk more. If not, cool. I do get an opportunity to accumulate, and it's just going to be a longer waiting, hurry up and wait situation. It's going to you yeah. know push out some more things that I want to do in life. But I do want to be right because I was back here in twenty one, two thousand twenty one, saying this could be the first ever macro. ABC after 13 years of Bitcoin and I didn't express it a lot. I wasn't in a lot of videos talking about it. It's literally in one video. Like that's how I do my thing. Sometimes I ask a question, can we see 33K in Gemini, 33, things like that, you know, and I, and I go on and uh, to have it documented and it, and it then come in right, you know, to her be right to preaching it for over a year, you know, it'd be, it, it at least would make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that that was it for me. I just wanted to share that before. I know you said you were getting ready to wrap it up soon, Awaken. I just wanted to share that for you. Did I lose you? Oh, sorry. I apologize. I'm over here talking to myself. No, this, you're straight. No, uh, you know Ethan, guys, the guy in our Discord, and he's also part of Waters community. He Ethan. Just, Ethan. Um, Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. Eat. Anyways, what matters so is many that. Uh, people. I yeah. know. Long story short, uh, Dom, they're the scammer, um, is back on it, and he's like, he's talking to Ethan right now. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. Did you did you report that scammer to uh, Waters above, Dom? Uh, did I what? No, no, I'm asking Dom. Or because oh. there's a scammer. If you go to Waters Above Crypto, uh, look up Awakened Soul for a, a for me. If you don't mind, there's a scammer. There's a couple of scammers and acting like I'm still part of the community and taking people's money. It's horrible. Someone just lost 20k. So they yeah, she, she asked ten percent uh, or something. I had her also two times. It or her or him, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I put her away. I uh, I understand that it wasn't the real one, of course. But you know what I mean? It's just like I feel like oh, I feel so bad because you know the they're they're just taking people's money and and you know it's an algorithm. It's and they sound like they're human and they're just talking to people 
<sighs> anyways i just feel so bad but um no 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 that's all i have guys thank you so much it was a pleasure being with you guys i mean i love you guys so much i hope you guys learned thank something. thank you and, and you know what i thank love you. the balance i love the balance because you know what a bear needs a bull and a bull <laughs> needs a bear in their life yeah so true okay. because if we just like i could be sometimes stubborn you guys sometimes you know bring me to earth and it's like no check this out and i appreciate that and i hope i do the same for you guys sometimes you, you know, guys you, you guys look at certain things a certain way and i just want to bring that balance that love that everyone just be at peace you know and c connect to earth and just see what the charts are telling us today and tomorrow will be a new opportunity a new day and you know we'll set up a new chart and make money more than anything i think that's important i want to make sure that we keep growing our bags keep learning and you know just keep growing together more than anything vibe with our tribe yes ma'am thank you yeah. for all you've taught me uh unity and you know dom and uh wizard there um you know <laughs> I, a pleasure being with y'all and uh speaking with y'all uh we've done a lot of interacting in the discords together sharing posts and stuff but to hear a voice with the name you know it's it's just allowing so nice, me to, huh? it, yeah it is you know it, it makes my day you know what i'm saying uh you never connected with Dom before? Well, we I shared his appreciation with some of my posts and things like this, but um, we've spoken just once or twice, I think real short, briefly on uh, like a Thursday, Thursday night event or some kind of thing like that, movie night or something. Um, oh, he's hard to get a, yeah. he's hard. <laughs> well, I mean, look at me, I've been up almost 22 hours by the end of the day. Um, by the time I get off of here, I might even go do, do another video um, or, or yes. something, maybe go live you know on YouTube. I don't know. I'm just feeling like... Uh, I, hey. I maybe get out there and and do my thing tonight uh, on D Day Doomsday and just you know just you should do the twins the twin things the twin well, uh, I was gonna wins. say yeah the, the twin flames if you, the twin if you were talking to me during uh, movie night then that obviously was a scammer. <laughs> oh okay it was it, it could have been uh, an event night or a Thursday Thursday night hangout I don't know that, that was um, a, that was a scammer too. <laughs> oh wow, um, I've, no. I've I've never been on those events. I've only done like this. Oh, then it was it was it in Awakened Souls Discord, maybe? Uh no, no, but oh maybe. Like I've only oh. done like lives like one or a couple of well, I've only been a couple of times. Um but it's, oh, I've mainly been a trading it, trading worlds. You're Dom Cruz, right? Dom, no. Dom Cruz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dom Cruz. Yeah, yeah then yeah, there's just that one Dom time. Crew. Um because <laughs> Awakened Souls calling <laughs> you something else um at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's yeah. called me Dan. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. Uh, that's what it was. That was the first time that's we right. had an interaction. Cool. But but either way, I just I'm so humbled to to be here with y'all. Thank y'all. Hey, yeah, it's Dom. fun. This is fun. Yo. Uh, really quick, did you talk to Waters about that scammer? Yeah, oh, I didn't talk oh. to him. I actually actually just posted to everybody. Oh, just because um, um, they're at it. He just again. Is yeah, this... no, he just posted a major a big thing in alerts. Is this related okay. to what happened to Norms? And his uh, no, there was this there was this kid that approached me and um he was showing me the uh the, the conversations. Oh wow and he was like, Oh, would you are you are you part of this with Awakened Soul doing the um copy trading? I'm like, No, I don't know anything about copy trading. <laughs> yeah, see in Awakened Souls channel we found another Awakened Soul one time in her disc. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, there's like three of them. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. It's and then just, I try to it's because they know we're on our way to all winning a YouTube Gold Award together, and, and they're trying to get ahead of the game. <laughs> right? Oh. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I'll behave. But I'm serious about that. Like, I'm manifesting us all to have a YouTube Gold Award, like a whole tribe, a whole crew, like us doing this weekly, me and her, um, all of oh, us be nice. together, things like that. My channel, uh, myself, you know, I'm going to have a YouTube gold award. I'm going to, it's not about $10 million. I have a million dollars in the bank. Yeah. I turned less than 10 K into six figures in crypto since 2021, but I, I'm broke because I realize riches realizing I create happiness. So it's about reaching 10 million people and not having $10 million to me. So I know I'm going to manifest having a YouTube gold award. So that's just <laughs> yeah. and, and, and more than anything, valuable people, because I was offered exactly. uh, someone came to me uh, for me to pay them to add like 10,000 followers. And I was like, right. no, no, I don't want that. I'm good. Organic. I'm like, 
grass. Yeah, like wonder- Mumbai. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a call from Mumbai? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But no, but yeah, it was funny. I was yeah. like, no, so I want to grow this organically and farm. allow the people to come. Mm-hmm. Mumbai. Hey, that'd be cool. Yeah, like we could do probably. like a, you know, like bit, uh-huh, like Bitboy has, yeah. and he gets together with all his crew and they talk to you. Oh. Right. Exactly. Like that's that's what I was thinking. Like I, I, I want to call it. This is what I was thinking. Like I, I've been building for three years and eventually some of my pioneers, some of them are doctors, some of them have six figure jobs and they're literally, some yeah. of them have sent me messages that they're about to step away from their profession and day trade daily Whoa, just because of watching mode. some of my videos. <laughs> and I'm not out here like awakening soul and people every day. Like yeah, I just yeah, put yeah. a video and things out here and there, but after that's powerful. So that's nice. I want to start people saying they're going to step away from their day job. Yeah, I, I want to start wow. eventually a, a podcast that is pioneers turn crypto nears. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, because it's the Daily Candle Close News, the Pioneer Academy and University. I want to start eventually pioneers turn crypto nears. Like people that have stepped away from their nine to fives or become financially secure and stable because freedom, financial freedom is a lie. But, you know. They're, they're rich in mindset, they're rich in abundance and wealth and, you know, yeah. they're no longer slaves to the, to the job, the job system. They're just over broke. They have joy over boredom. Like I was talking about earlier. I like it. I mean, yeah, it if, if, price a, if price action keeps doing what it's doing and just ping ponging around 25 K, then it's going to be a while until I'll be able to join your club. Right. Me and you both. Me and you both. But, but, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh it's about being a crypto near in, in mindset, not, no, that's not right. I'm physical. gonna create a hundredth club. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, I'm as joking. As no, I love it. As long as you invite uh, me. Oh yeah, yeah, I love the idea, it'd be cool. And yeah. we could we could all show our faces. Yeah, like that's that's my goal. I just bought a webcam, but I haven't paid the two hundred and forty dollars a year for stream yeah. yard to allow me to use my webcam. I'm like I thought the two hundred dollars on the webcam was going to be enough, but hey, but, uh, you should talk to me, Abe. I know a way to stream uh, by your iPhone with free, with huh, no webcam. Huh. So huh. I got that setup going on. Still, through, still um, using my OBS and everything. Yeah, um, not through Streamyard, but using OBS, you could stream with your uh, iPhone for free. Huh. Yeah. I have to so, check that out with you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I am gonna start showing my face. <laughs> on my YouTube channels. I think, you know, people want that connection. I'm just yeah. embarrassed. Not embarrassed, but, you know, I just well, want people to I, take me serious. I've been shy, too, and that's why I still make mistakes. And, like, you know, hopefully people work past them and they understand what I'm saying when I do because I'm don't. i not going and edit it, editing it, and I'm not recording a 30-hour-and-a-half-long video all over again because I made two mistakes. All right, no, not at all. It. Not at all. Ask, ask know. questions, you know. Um. Just but, like here, yeah. it is what it is, and here's the video. And if you like it, good. If not, don't look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's simple as that. You know, we have that's, to do what's good for us. That's why I started sharing myself uh, in, in webcam lately because you know it's. You know, it, I want you to see my true, authentic self. At the same time, like I might be a tortoise because I, I don't feel like being turtly enough for the turtle club, and you know I'm hiding behind this, you know, screen right here. But it just it is what it is. Right, right. All right, guys. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Thank I'll you. see you guys Thank you. in the chat room. I hope. Um, Thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys being the bulls and uh, uh, me being the bear. I just love it. That balance in life. Yeah. You can hear me, yeah? Yes. Yeah. We're going to do all right. We're going to do all right. We are. We have I the think perfect today's team. Gonna, Today's going to be a good day in crypto. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I, I took four trades. I'm on my fourth trade already today. And oh, wow. at 60 at 69x only, but uh, don't do 69x. Just, six, just 69x. That's a, not 100, just 69. Not 100, just 69. <laughs> I'm trying to be conservative yeah. here. Just a little. Conservative. <laughs> God, the, the, the system gives you a warning at 30. I'm leveraging 69x with 100% of my bag. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, hey. No, I'll be 10%. That, but hey, hey, whatever makes you money. Yeah, 10% of my bag. 10% yeah, of my bag. Always, always. But I am in my fourth trade of the day, and um, we'll see how it plays. Yeah. But yeah, I'll see you guys right. in the chat room then. All Love right. you guys. Okay.
Thank That's you. Right. Okay. Bye. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.